what how do you begin to analyze a game like that 3-3 three, three at uh whatever west ham stadium is called who even knows anymore <sighs> Exhausting, an exhausting 90 minutes for Arsenal fans. An appalling opening half hour and an outstanding comeback. You're left confused, baffled. Arsenal's inconsistency kind of summed up in the space of a single game. The foolish goals they give away, the promise they show in attack. It's maddening. And I've just seen Mikel Arteta talking about it on telly and he seems mad. He's furious. He can't believe what he's watching because, you know, Arsenal gave West Ham two goals, in his opinion, the second and third, with some dreadful defending, lack of concentration, lack of competing. But ultimately, it is his responsibility. And, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. but when you look at the team he selected today, some of the changes he made, they did not really work. And yet, largely that same group of players produce the turnaround. I don't think the selection is what causes all the players to switch off on the goal they take from the quick free kick. Literally every player, I think bar maybe David Luiz, who didn't have a great afternoon by any respect, particularly in that first half, turns their back on the ball. Doesn't matter who you pick. If they do that, and, and that's not to excuse the manager. I do think, as I say, hindsight's twenty twenty. but Arsenal produced their best performance of the season in the North London derby against Spurs. Would they have been better off sticking with that 11? Very possibly. But, but then you look at the game and the impact that, say, Callum Chambers had a right back, two assists from him. He wouldn't have been in the team. It, it's It's a... As I say, it's not a straightforward one to analyse. Certain things did not work today. For example, Aubameyang started on the right. I assume to get him behind Cresswell. Or at least keep him back. That didn't work at all. Only when Arsenal switched him to the left and moved Saka to the right did they start to get any sort of foothold in the game. Pablo Marie came in alongside David Luiz. I don't think that partnership was very good at all in the first half. The line was ragged on several occasions, um, perhaps most obviously on the third goal. Yeah, I, I mean, even starting a Birmingham wide at all, I think didn't really work today. He had a very difficult afternoon, as can be the case with him. He's a, a conundrum of a player because... He gives you goals, he gives you getting on the end of chances, but if that isn't happening, he doesn't give you a lot else. We've always known that, you know, that that's never really been any different. But um, not his best afternoon. <sighs> I'm just calming down. I was flabbergasted by the start Arsenal made in this game, and there are issues of concentration. <laughs> And focus seemed to afflict this Arsenal team. And I can't believe we're still saying it after all these years. After changes in manager, after changes in personnel. It is absolutely infuriating and extraordinary. Maybe all the more infuriating because I think most of us can see there are green shoots here. There are signs of progress in this team. But what is progress worth if you aren't winning games? That, that that starts to become the question. Um, I, I, I suspect Mikel Arteta must ask himself the same thing. He's doing a lot right, but is he getting the results? Yeah. I feel like he got better results when he was getting more wrong in the way, in the process of the team and, and you know, the way... The team was set up in the type of football we were playing. Um, big contribution from Nicola Pepe today, coming off the bench, setting up the goal for Lacazette. I'm pleased for Lacazette. I do think he gets a hard time and there are games when he's not that good. Um, but I think overall, overall, on balance, uh, he's had a better season 
this than last, and I think he has contributed, certainly contributed goals. His link play was excellent today, really good. Helped in no small part by having Martin Odegaard there. How I've gone five minutes without mentioning him, I don't know. He, in the first half, he looked like the only player really at the races. I was thinking, well, he's not playing like an Arsenal player, maybe because he isn't an Arsenal player. Let's hope we can address that. I don't know how confident I am, but he has been very good. Coming into a team halfway through the season, a new country, settling in that quickly. It's no easy task. He's done exceptionally well. He's showing us what we need in that area of the park. I hope we can keep him. Brilliant today. Um, you have to laugh sometimes, don't you? You have to laugh about what this team are like. I hope your heart rate's all okay. Speak to you all soon. After the international break, probably. I think I need it after that. Bye.